Bravo. And now we hear her. She wanted it. And it's the year of Romeo on the LPBT Tour. Full fearless, Kelly. Yes, she does. Shannon O'Keefe is going to win this one. That she does what she has to do to win. Now, let's take a giant leap backwards in time to 1969, the summer of love. Rock and roll music has shaped a young generation of protesters as the Vietnam War rages on. The Woodstock Music Festival draws a shocking 350,000 fans. The Beatles would also hold their last live performance on top of Apple Records. But this year, it's a single step that would change the world forever as Apollo 11 lands three astronauts on the moon and Neil Armstrong utters his famous line. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Bowling is in full swing on and off the lane as the industry spends more than a million dollars promoting keglers across the country. The PWBA tour continues to pick up steam as the talent level skyrockets. Patty Costello, Judy Sutar, and Koyoka Suda make their presence known. But a five foot firecracker from Attleboro, Massachusetts is determined to prove that her 1968 Player of the Year campaign isn't a flash in the pan. That bowler is Dottie Fothergill. Fothergill didn't discover bowling until she turned 18 after she got a job at a local center. Although she started a little later than most, it didn't take her long to become the best bowler in her region, averaging 206, more than 30 pins better than the next best woman. This left Dottie looking for a bigger challenge, so she turned pro in 1966 at the age of 21. It didn't take Father Gill long to find success on the pro circuit, and she won her first tournament at the Papago Phoenix Open in 1967. But Dottie really began to hit her stride in 68, becoming Player of the Year and also taking down the BPAA All-Star Tournament. Dottie entered her 1969 campaign with a mountain of expectations. Coming down to the wire in the Legends of Bowling. Dottie Fodigal must strike on this shot, and that ball's got a good ball. The big All hooking right. southpaw wouldn't disappoint, and she won the first pro tournament of 1969 in Canton, Ohio. With momentum on her side, she set her sights on defending her BPAA All-Star title. After a fiercely competitive tournament, Father Gill would emerge victorious over Japan's Koyoka Suda, only beating her by 26 pins. Father Gill picked up another major at the PWBA Championship, giving her three victories in a season of only seven events. She would eclipse $20,000 in a year, the average house only cost 15. She was awarded a second consecutive Player of the Year award, becoming one of the most dominant players of the 1960s. Dottie Fothergill was elected to the WIBC Hall of Fame in 1980 and the PWBA Hall of Fame in 1995. Today, we celebrate her 1969 campaign as the 18th greatest season in PWBA history. Thank you.